This here is referred to as basic view. Each of these photos is referred to as a thumbnail because it's the approximate size of your thumbnail. If you hover your mouse on top of a photo, you'll notice that you'll get a small preview of the photo. Additionally, if you'd like to increase the size of the thumbnails, you can do so by using the zoom bar in the bottom right hand corner. In the bottom right hand corner of our screen, you'll see that we have a slider as well as a minus sign and a plus sign. If I click on this plus sign on the right hand side, you'll notice that the size of the thumbnails is getting larger. If I'd like to view the photo in full size view, I can simply double click on it to open it. If I double click on this photo, that's going to open the photo so that I can view it in larger view. If I'd like to scroll through these photos, I have a few different options. Perhaps the easiest option is to use these arrow keys in the top left hand corner of the screen. You'll see that it says previous and then next. If I click the next arrow key, it's going to go to the next photo. If I click the previous arrow key, it's going to go to the previous photo. There are similar arrow keys towards the bottom of the screen as well. I can click to go to the right, or I can click to go to the left. I can also use the arrow keys on my keyboard and scroll through the photos that way. If you've taken a photo like this one and it needs to be reoriented, you can do so by using these arrows here. This arrow will rotate it to the left, whereas this arrow will rotate it to the right. This photo needs to be rotated to the left, so I'm going to click on it one time. Additionally, you can delete a photo by clicking on the red X. If I click on this red X one time, I'll be prompted with a window asking me if I'm sure I want to delete this file. If I click yes, this photo will be sent to the recycle bin, and eventually it will be deleted from the recycle bin. In this case, I do not want to delete the file, so I'm going to click no. If I'd like to return back to the gallery, I can click on close file in the top right hand corner of the screen. When I'm here in the gallery, I will be able to see all of the rest of the photos.